Hi, my name is Todd Vickers and I've been a burner since 2014 and I've been uh, volunteering as a board member for BED, the Bureau of Erotic Discourse at Burning Man since 2017. I would like to talk to you about a problem that's difficult to address. It concerns consent. Most camps have, you know, pretty clear policy, especially if they've been through the Beducator program. You can all participate in by going to Bureau of Erotic Discourse.net and uh, viewing our videos. In there, we recommend a consent policy. And different camps will have their own vibe, but we have kind of a, a basic structure of you know how to set your camp up as a safe camp. If somebody if somebody blows it in a consent way. And if, as we recommend, you know, you give them a teachable moment, assuming it's not something that's unforgivable, which some people might reject. They might be like, ah, I didn't do anything wrong. Get out of here. Well, if they're not willing to learn and listen, or somebody who's not vital, it might be very easy to get rid of them. It's like, you know, pack your shit and get out of here. But what if the person is in a position of power? What if that person is a lead? What if that person owns vital infrastructure for the camp and if they pack up the whole camp suffers and here you can see the position of somebody pushing back based merely upon their position of power i've seen in 2018 a, a woman showed up at our camp and actually stayed with us she was afraid to go back to her camp but her boyfriend was a lead and she didn't feel like she could do anything because he was so vital to the camp and all those people Another situation where someone was trying to inform lead of a camp, like, hey, this guy is into some really fucked up shit. And they're like, look, that's hearsay, and he's an excellent worker, and we really need him. Each camp is going to have to find their way through that kind of a problem if it happens. What I recommend is not only you go through the Beducator program and get really clear on what your consent policy is, but how you're going to address a problem if it comes up teachable moments or expulsion from camp, or even you know, calling the authorities, which some people will choose to do. Is your camp willing to get rid of the most vital person? People in positions of power, people who seem crucial to a camp. You know, if you're a sound camp and somebody who owns all the sound equipment, they do some shit that's like unforgivable, will you rid the camp of them? And ask this question, ask it before the burn. I personally think you should be able to do that. Set your camp free, set the people in your camp free. And that way people will really feel supported. But for your camp to handle this, having it been said out loud, that if somebody fucks up with consent, there has to be accountability. Thank you for watching.